By the way, kumbukua kuna story nyingi sana kwenye mitanda ya kijamii. Okay. Nadhani wewe ni miongoni mwa watu ambao unakuwa unakutana na hizo hizo vitu mara nyingi sana. Hapo katikati huwa kuna story kubwa sana ambayo ilikuwa imetrend na ilizungumzwa sana. Ikapelekea mpaka kuna baadhi pia ya uh, watangazaji naweza nikasema au waandishi wa habari mm. kuwa wanaizungumzia kama story, yani kama kipindi, si unanielewa vizuri. Okay. Ilitokea hapa issue katikati baada ya <laughs> Young Famous in Africa <laughs> kutoka ah, season 2 cut, na cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Na ile ishu ya Let's Fantana. Na ile ishu ya Fantana ilivotokea. <laughs> ishu ya Fantana ilivotokea. So badai kaonekana kwamba kulikuwa kuna ugomvi ya mba umetokea. Ikasimekana kwamba umeenda kwa mbosu wako. Umevunja vitu na vitu kama hivyo. Badai watu wakarazo umza kwamba umelipishwa pesa. Kuna pesa watakia ulipe kwa jili ya fujo ambazo umezipata na vitu kama hivyo. Ebu tuambie kwa sababu kila moja amekuwa na juuliza maswali na hana majibu ya kitu kile ambacho kilitokea na kweli ilitokea kwa sababu ya kile ambacho kilionekana kwa damu ni pamoja na Fantana. Tukaona pia comment ya RJ na ukamjibu pale. Na ukamjibu. Oh lord. Cut cut cut. <laughs> Which one should I start? <laughs> Tuanze kwenye ishu ya Fantana, then tuje kwenye ishu ya kuenda kufanya ugo, I mean kufanya ugo mvima ni kwa bosu wako. I think you need to set the record straight. Yeah. Komba. Ilikuwa aje. Ilikuwa aje, what's happened? Yani kwa kuna ukweli ambapo ulikuwa naongelewa kwa mba ulienda kweli kwenye mjengo pale, ukana unasikia ni fujo, baka mlinza kwa, anashindo kukuzuia, fujo, fujo TV, makoti. Na kulipishwa juu na management. Kulipishwa apana, hiyo siyo kweli. Okay. I think, I think my boss is better than that. Lakini kwenye kufunja kweli. Um, yeah. <laughs> it happened. I was angry. I was so angry. And I... Um, I was so angry. I was just angry. It's uli chukia kwa, kwa sabu gani? Kwa sabu unasema damo ni rafiki yako. Yeah. Then uli kasirika. Asa, uli kasirika nini? Endari kwa rafiki yako unayenaje kwenda kufunja vitu. Amenda mbali zaidi. Rafiki yangu alivuka mipaka. Those are not things we do on TV, friend. Oh, yeah. Kwa ilikuma really? kwa namna moja unyingine. Sindio? Kwa ilikuma yeah. kama, kama kuona rafiki yako anafanya kitu kama kile on TV. Of course, yeah. Na umfazo so, kama no, ukipata rafiki kama ule. Raisu mili kwaza. Uh-huh. Mina chaka zuchu wewe straight to the point. Yote imaka kuenda kufanya hizo fujo na kwa sababu mikiri kwa makweli alienda kavunja. Ilikuwa ni sababu ya kile ambacho kilitokea kwa damo na Fantana. Na alaba yeah. ulimuuliza katika kumuuliza kwa kia likujibu kitu gani mbaka ikapelekea labda. Mbaka reaction kama yukaja. Kama, kwa sababu minaamini kwa mba kwenye okay, urafiki, kwenye mapenzi, <laughs> mkigombana, kuna kukati, kuna kuzungumza. Yeah. Mkishindua na sasa kuna reaction zina, zinaweza zikotokea. You see, um, I think... Huu... <laughs> Yo, na kuelewa. Yo, funguka, yo. funguka mama I funguka. Yo. I think nili, uh, actually nilikuwa nyumbani kwake. Okay. So this is what happened. I was busy cleaning the room and nilikuwa napanga sunglasses na nina nini. And then I happened nika nimeshika simu nikaingia Snapchat. Nikaona ile scene and I was asking myself is this a video? No, I would have known. You understand? So what is this? So um, I know that girl because uh, Kipindi wanna shoot. I was in South Africa for some time. Kwenda kumtembele ya da 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 da. So I knew about her, whatever, whatever. Lakini I just didn't know it reached to that extent. You yeah. understand? And uh, whatever we sit and I'm like, yes, season two. Yes, season two. I'm like. Ah, kwa kwa na kudokeza dokeza mapema ni. Na kama rilisi mapema ni. Na vya. I know. I'm like, oh. Lakini wewe hiyo season 2 and I'm like What did you do? Hakwambi. Yeah, there were no direct. Answers, you uh, understand? Yeah. Ko, that is was my first time naona kama ambavyo watu wengine wameona yo. Okay. So my heart dropped. Hmm. I just didn't know what to do and I was calling him. I think walikuwa ikulu that day mlikuwa cha mwino da da da. And thank God, mana lita kwa ni enda skuile. Nashukuru skuenda chamu. Oh. Ai, nashukuru skuenda chamu ino. I ha, I had other occupations, lagi ni aka hapoke itu sim. I think kosa bwa liko yuko busy. So I called the phone boy, and then he was like, Ah, you go pale ikulu kasha inga. I think the network da da da. I was like, Sasa you know kati kati a rage ile. Mm. You have nobody to talk to, and um. I think kuna vitu tu nimejifunza kwenye maisha yangu ni kufunga milango kuongea na watu wa pembeni especially marafiki yeah. familia yani yeah. nimefunga huo mlango oh, yeah. kwa sababu ya nature tu ya mimi position yangu yeah. na position ya rafiki yangu oh, yeah. ukiacha huo mlango wazo weza usilale kila Kabisa. siku kutoka kuna vitu stress ni nyingi sana yani hutopumua kwao nikafunga huo mlango so i found myself in the middle of Something I'm by a scene of a kuzungum zanae, and I'm there on You're my own. Yeah. So it was like a phase, and it's like getting bam 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 bam. Unajua mule, and it's like wah. Unajua. Yeah, yeah. 
And then after that I took my stuff I, I left Evo. Then yeah, yeah, baada ya kumpata kwenye yeah. simu ilikuwaaje? Yeah. Mara umeshafanya hivyo vitu ulivyofanya then. Actually yeah, 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 he was basi. calling me I was I, I just wasn't picking up his calls you know I just didn't want to speak to him I was done. For okay. how long? Okay. After like, like, um ndo changamoto nyingine hiyo nadhani sio ananiweza sana. Man. Nimekuwa mraisi sana kwake na Yeah. I'm not this way. Oh, Trust me, we don't give second chances. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know why. How long you yeah, want to say? Ni chukumda gani? Actually, sikupokea simu yake ile siku nzima and then akaja kunipigia me around kama saa tisa ya usiku huku kama siku natakubadilika. Yeah. 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 Ndio nikapokea after him calling me like the whole day yeah, ananipigia yeah. you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he was like in the middle of meetings akitoka ananipigia so I I picked up. Mm-hmm. I said what I said, you know. Na wakati huo alikuwa ameshapata taarifa ya kitu gani ambacho umekifanya au bado hajapata taarifa. Nilimtumia video. Kwa ili kwa sababu nilimwona kule Snapchat ilibidi niingie Netflix kutafuta kutafuta sasa movie yake. What is this? So nikaona kwa oh so this is it. You understand? Kwa hiyo ile ndio ikazidi kuku kuku ujifanya ufeel bad zaidi. Yeye alikuwa gani? Yeye alikuwa pale gani? Unajua kuna zile unajua ushaona hiyo kitu umeshafanya fuje ushamcheck on then anakupigia simu umepokea kama unavyosema kwake una kidogo unakuwa kama pilitoni. Alikupa sumu gani mboka kwa mwana bwana acha iishe tu maisha mengine endelee unajua ray i'll say this once and for all kwenye maisha yeah. yangu mimi mimi nilikuwa mtu wa hivi rafiki baba ndugu ukinikera nafuta na potezea i was like that yeah. yani i delete you in my life utakuepo sitokuchunia kwa sababu sina si hold grudges yeah, yeah. I don't hold grudges. I'm very easy to please actually. Mm-hmm. Lakini tu kuna distance na itengeneza ambao hutokuwa mtu wangu tena. Oh. Lakini sasa uh, as you grow you learn kwamba mtu unayempenda zaidi ndo atakaye kuumiza kuliko wote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. So uh, at the end of the day I I remain single forever. Mm-hmm. Au nitakuwa mpweke forever, nitakuwa bila rafiki forever. Yeah. Nitakuwa mjane mkiwa sina mama kwa sababu the people you love the most are the ones that are going to hurt you the most hurt you the most not saying you should condone disrespect mm-hmm. you understand i'm yeah. not saying that because mm-hmm. i'm a f- uh, i'm a i'm a figure out there people are looking at me mm-hmm. like kama kio yeah, yeah. do not condone disrespect mm-hmm. lakini um there are various reasons to why i'm staying in whatever situations that i mean yeah, yeah. i might be blinded in love but i don't feel like i'm that dumb oh, to yeah? be that blind you understand yeah, yeah. So I feel like um kwa maelezo yake alonipa uh, ilichukua muda kuifuta actually ni sisemi uongo lakini ilifikia point nika nikaamua kum, kumsamehe maelezo haya ambayo sasa ambayo katika hiyo situation kumata. like so far umejifunza nini in case rafiki yako ikitokea tena like umejiweka kwenye position gani next time Sasa chochote nina nadhani ni vizuri kwenye mapenzi mtu akawa huru kufanya chochote anachotaka. Kwa hiyo yeye kama kaamua kuwa hivyo, mwache aamue kuwa hivyo. Afanye kwa uwezo wake, siku nitakayojiona nimechoka, tamwacha. Oh yeah. Okay. Hiyo okay. inakutengenezea peace of mind. I think I think kuliko ukae u stress over what is he going to do? Oh don't do this. Ni bora ukae umuone mtu by their true colors. You understand? Na uamue sasa kujiadjust. Kwa sababu sisi wanawake sometimes tunaweza kujiadjust kutokana na maisha ya mwanamke. Kamba okay, huyu ni mtu wa design hii acha mimi nijiadjust nikae hapa ndo tutaendana. Kama nikiona haiwezekani kujiadjust then kuna maisha mengine tutatafuta itakuwa tu sio riski yangu. Unyama sana.